Eric Martinez is one of the best guys we have produced, uh, me and fellow coach Chris Ramirez. He started training with us. He was about 15, 16 years old. Uh, he was training for less than a year, and he wanted to fight, but he was too young to go to the UFC or fight in MMA here in Texas. Uh, so we looked around and we came in contact with a promotion called Collision Extreme Combat. And they had uh, divisions for younger guys, even little kids. So we signed them up and we headed out to Oklahoma. We had guys do a lot of jiu-jitsu tournaments and um, karate, you know, things like that. But we never had anybody fight in kickboxing or MMA. So it was the first time for me. I was pretty confident, though. We, we trained with a lot of great guys, uh, Guy Mesger's gym. Um, so, you know, we were in there ready to fight. A uh, pretty good drive, something like uh, three hours away. No problem, we show up. Uh, weigh in, we'll check with the doctor, get our physical done, everything's going great. And we head out to grab a little lunch afterwards. And, you know, as the minutes went by, I can see he was getting more nervous. I can see it in his face. Uh, I had a little talk with him. I remember telling him, hey, you know, I spar with some great guys, professional fighters, you know, I've trained a lot of people. And uh, you're pretty good, so just believe in yourself. And I, I think it helped. Um, you know, he was a uh, pretty pale in the face with his nerves starting to get to him, but he relaxed a little bit and he calmed down. Uh, funny side note: we actually got stranded after that lunch. <laughs> Uh, there was a train blocking us, and uh, we were trying to just wait it out, and it was taking a long time. We had like an hour to report back. Uh, luckily, that train got out of the way, and we got there, and, you know, everything was good. So we were there, and we were warming up, and... Um, Luckily, Ray Wright was there. Ray Wright, he teaches at Octagon MMA. He's a Hall of Fame for personal trainers. A really great guy. Uh, and he uh, actually wrapped Eric's hands for us. And, you know, I'm sure he gave him a lot of tips and even more confidence. And he actually ended up being the second corner man. I took a little bit of a back seat. So he was mostly coached by Ray Wright and Chris Ramirez. During the warm-ups, a uh, funny thing happened is, uh, you know, we, we see the guy and he looks uh, shredded in great shape, a lot of muscles on him, starts hitting the pads and, uh, you know, it's really loud and uh, he looks really good, very strong. We just keep doing our thing, warming up and watching the other fights take place and uh, his, his family or his friends and all of them show up. And they know who we are, so they point us out and they start laughing, thinking we're going to be a pushover. And I said, okay. And I, I let Eric know. And I'm like, hey, make him pay for it. So right before the fight, yeah, I don't remember exactly what it's called, but he did the traditional Thai dance and the whole ceremony thing. And, you know, fight's on. The fight starts. We already know he's going to come out strong. Uh, we got to keep moving, uh, you know, a lot of jabs, leg kicks, and if we knew he was going to tire out. That's exactly what happened. He used a lot of kicks to knock him down, kick his legs underneath him. And, you know, once he got tired, you know, Eric was letting loose, letting all his punches, all the kicks go, mixing it up really well, listening to everything that we would, we would tell him to do. Uh, Ray Wright is in the corner. And he would see something, he'd, like, he'd just say, do it again, and, and we would. And, you know, getting the points, the judges are liking it. The crowd's really into the fight, wasn't boring for one second. All, all three rounds, crowd was loving it. By the second round, 
he was already in zombie mode, ready to get out of there. He even tried to do a takedown at one time. His corner is yelling out, what are you doing, you? <laughs> Referee's warning him. Uh, we just put a really big beat down on him. Uh, so very proud of Eric for listening. Uh, made us look good. Of course, that's nice. And uh, we got the win. And, you know, we came home, celebrated. It was great to make our debut and be undefeated. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe, favorite the video if you enjoyed it. Going to hopefully get episode 2 pretty soon. That one's going to feature Santos Hollywood de Leon and when he won his debut in Muay Thai also. We also got the MMA fight with Brian Reyes. And in a few days, I'm going to be coaching at Dallas Golden Gloves 2013. Hopefully that goes good. Uh, get the video out for you guys. Once again, thanks for watching. Have a good one, guys.